Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today I'm going to talk about a way to manage PDFs uh, that you might not have thought of and that is using iTunes. So if you have a iPod Touch or an iPhone or or a iPad, you can use iTunes to manage your PDFs and have the, them available on all your devices. So normally we think of iTunes as being for music, of course, but you may have no, not have noticed that there's this books tab here. And the word books is a bit misleading because it not only allows you to buy iBooks from the iBook store or download books like EPUB and stuff like that, but it also allows you to put PDFs in there as well. So I'm just going to take a PDF here and I'm going to drag it into this book section here. And you can see that the the PDF that I just dragged in is this one here. And so now we can see that that's in our iTunes. And now when you plug in your, your iPhone or your iPad or your iPod Touch, or if you have a later version of those operating systems, you can even do this over Wi-Fi. But when you sync it, mine's already plugged in, so I'm just going to right click. I'm just going to right click and do Sync Paris. You would only need to do this if you're already plugged in you can see that it's syncing and now if we go over to the i my iPad so I brought my iPad up here let's check out this and see if we can find this PDF and what you need to do is you need to have this app here called iBooks and it unfortunately doesn't come standard on an iPad or an iPhone or an iPod Touch, you just need to go to, and it depends where yours is, but you just need to go to the App Store, search for the word iBooks, and it's a free app that Apple makes. So I'm going to tap on iBooks here, and you can see the same as on my iTunes screen on the right, you can see that all my books are there, but my PDFs are not. And the reason why is we need to go up here to this collections button here and I'm going to tap there and now you can see I've got books and PDFs so I'm going to choose PDFs and there's all my PDFs including the one that I just synced over and now that will be on my iPhone and my iPod touch as well and if I delete it from here in iTunes so let's do that let's go to iTunes and I'm going to delete this and now when I sync again, it should take it off the iPad. So let's see if it actually does. And there you go. It's, you've seen it just removed it from the iPad. So it's an easy way to use iTunes to manage our PDFs and carry them around. And if you want, you can organize them into collections and stuff like that. Just by tapping on that collection button here, you can see I have one called Backup. You just need to tap the new button here and you can create new collections, which are kind of like new folders. Now, that's not the only way to get documents into our iTunes. It's dragging them in works, but there's a even more automated way to do that. And I'm going to show you that now. Okay, so I'm back here and I've got iTunes on the left and I've got a finder window up here on the right and I'm in my music folder and every Mac will have a music folder on Windows uh, it will be the same thing I believe it's under documents and then uh, there'll be a folder called iTunes music and in that folder there'll be a folder here called iTunes so if I go in there and then I also have a file called iTunes music and again this is not only Mac specific this is Windows as well if I double click on the iTunes music folder I've got all my music, but I also will have a folder here. Let's go to list view to make it a bit easier. I'll also have a folder here called automatically add to iTunes. So let's go in there. So this is a way that you can, ha you can save documents or any file that iTunes supports, not just documents, music as well, but you can save documents to that iTunes folder. And let's see what happens. So I'm going to take a file here, a PDF. I'm going to drag it to this folder. And you can see when I did that, hopefully you notice that, 
right away it appeared in my iTunes, just as if we had dragged it in ourselves. And from there, if I sync it up with my iPad or my iOS device, I'm going to delete this. If I, if I sync that to my iOS device, it will automatically populate over, the same as if I had dragged it in. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, this could be a great way if you wanted to scan to your to your iTunes. You could set up whatever scanner that you have. You could set up that automatically add to iTunes folder as your scan location, and anything that you scan there or download off the web or whatever will automatically go into iTunes, which will automatically allow you to have your documents on all your iOS devices. So that's how to use iTunes to manage PDFs amongst your devices. For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.